this is the kind of food you prepare for your Igbo husband and he will be like, baby, it's Christmas. How much did you say is bone slit? Let me buy you two. In fact, I just transferred money to your account. Go and get some bone slit for yourself. <laughs> Hello, amazing fam. This is Omasos and roasted plantain. Trust me when I say this tastes so good. It has this earthly aroma and taste that you cannot resist. You know those traditional sauces that you eat it once in a while, but you 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 just mean you sh you eat it every day. That is how this taste it says so good everyone in my house enjoyed this and i'm here to show you how i came about it so in case you can do get some for yourself and enjoy hello amazing fam welcome back to my channel today i'm making oba sauce and roasted plantain i'll be making use of some red palm oil all right you don't need any type of oil for this you just need the palm oil some crayfish i'm going to be blending this crayfish some already the bone smoked fish all right i'm making use of lots of onion lots of the right onion for this recipe i have some raw bell pepper and scotch bonnet pepper just add depending on the size you're feeding i also have some salt and stock cube i'll also be making use of my otazi that is a green vegetable that is kind of bitter but yeah, it has a lot of taste and flavor to this yummy goodness i'll be making use of the star of the dish which happens to be oba or maca pending on your dialect all right and then i'm making use of some ripe plantain you can use a ripe plantain i like ripe plantain when it comes to roasting because ripe unripe one can be so dry i have a recipe where i used unripe plantain i will leave it in the description box so fam let's get started i'm going to go ahead and peel my plantains like i said you can use the ripe unripe one if that is what you like but i like my unripe plantain when it comes to my ripe plantain when it comes to roasting because the unripe one can be very dry all right but if you don't mind you can use that one is even more healthy so i'm just going to peel this off and then cut it into halves this is just to enable my plantain to roast on time and then this is being prepared for dinner i do not want to waste much time so i'm running out of time already i had to cut it into halves so that it will roast on time and then won't waste much time that is why i cut it into halves but if you prefer to cut yours or you don't even like cutting it you want it to come in whole you can go ahead and do that all right but i just did this because of time so fam at this stage we i'm done cutting it into halves you can see how it's looking already so i'm just going to arrange it but before then i will just kind of spice it with a little salt some people use pepper depending on your preference but then if you don't like much heat when it comes to this you can just apply salt and you're good to go but if you want it to have that another taste entirely then you can apply pepper as you can see it's ready so this is going into my my oven right now i have an already preheated oven and i will just roast this for the next 10 to 15 minutes because i cut it into half and it's going to get roasted on time as that is going on i'm going to go ahead and prepare my sauce in a pan i'll be adding red palm oil like i said you don't use any other type of oil for this oba sauce is just palm oil all right i'm not going to allow this to bleach i'm just going to go ahead and add my onion like i said you need lots of onion for this sauce like when you're digging in you need to be filling onion in your sauce all right so you need a lot of onion for this sauce but if you don't like onion you can also blend it so that you don't get to see it if you don't like it but then i love my onions to be in chunks like this so that when i am getting my sauce i get everything together you can see it's already looking good some people just add salt and then eat it like this it also tastes so good but then i'm going a little extra so i'm going to go ahead and add my blended pepper i roughly blended this because i didn't want it to be smooth i still want bits of pepper when enjoying my oba sauce so i'm just going to add all the peppers on it you don't use tomato for your sauce like you don't use it you don't need it all right 
You don't need, if you are serving a very large people, a very large family, then you can go ahead and get more peppers and onion, but then you do not need tomatoes for your umwa sauce. I don't know how it will taste. I've not tried it, you know. Cooking is an art, but then I feel you don't need it in your umwa sauce. So fam, I'm going to go ahead at this point to add some of my spices to this. This is just to amplify the taste of this. I'm going in first with my salt, okay? And then after that, I will also go in with other spice like my no cube. I'm just making use of one. You can use many, as many as you want, depending on the size or how big your peppers is, all right? So I'm also going ahead at this point with my blended crayfish. You can also use your big prawns, dry prawns for this. It tastes so good also. So I'm going to give this a quick mix to combine properly and allow this to fry for five minutes. After five minutes, this is what I have. You can see it's looking all good, okay? I'm okay with what I have at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and add my deboned smoked fish. You can add some chopped momo, that is cow skin, or any protein of choice at this point. But then I'm just using only smoked fish for this recipe. Go a little extra if you want. Add momo. You just add a lot of taste and flavor to this. So fam, at this point, I'm okay with what I have. You can see it's already looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and add the star of the dish. And this happens to be oba, okay? You can't go wrong with oba in this sauce. It just gives it a whole lot of taste and flavor that you enjoy. It does have this earthly African taste and aroma that you can't resist, all right? So I'm going to give it a quick stir to combine properly and then allow it to cook for the next two minutes so that it will combine properly. After two minutes, this is what we have. You can see it's already looking good. And trust me, our oba sauce is ready. I'm going to allow this to cool down before going ahead to add my otazi leaf. I don't like cooking otazi leaf because it's a bit bitter. So it's going to make this sauce bitter, all right? So I like kind of leaving it until the sauce cools off and then I'll use it to spice up and make my food looking palatable as you can see fam we are ready like look at how this is looking already it tasted so good if you've watched up to this point and you've not subscribed to my channel hello what are you waiting for please do subscribe to my channel support me by clicking on that red subscribe button and then turn on bell notifications so that you get notified anytime i post a new video and for my old subscribers i want to say thank you for all you do for me in this space i do not take this show of life for granted thank you for loving me for supporting me for watching my video for giving me a huge thumbs up for your lovely lovely comment i get to read all and i must say thank you all now fam enjoy this with your family and trust me you will come back for testimony because it tastes so good Sometimes you just need to give yourself a little treat with all these traditional meals. Until I come your way next time, I just want to say I love you and bye-bye.